War Room Pandemic with Stephen K. Bannon. The epidemic is a demon and we cannot let this demon hide. War Room Pandemic. Here's your host, Stephen K. Bannon. Okay, for the War Room Posse out there, remember the this power of this show is because of uh, not just the 50 some million downloads and nationwide on radio and TV and on Real America's Voice and, and globally in Mandarin and Japanese and all that. This is powerful because this audience is powerful. What you We mi- must make sure you've got to get sleep. To do that, go to MyPillow.com right now. Put in promo code WARROOM. You get discounts on virtually everything, up to 66% on certain things. You get the two-for-one Giza sheets. You've got the pillows. You've got the 40% discount on slippers and moccasins. Support Mike Lindell, the armor-piercing shell of the Trump movement. Mike Lindell, the great American manufacturing company that is... My pillow up in Minnesota, the great state of Minnesota, and also the War Room Posse. So support that now by going to MyPillow.com, type in promo code War Room, get your discounts, and get your spring shopping done today. Okay, one of my favorite people, a real colleague and a fighter, Mort Klein of the Zionist Organization of America, one of the best teams out there. The Judeo-Christian West is under assault, and this story is not being reported what's happening in Israel, one of our greatest and strongest allies. Mort, I had to bring you in today. Tell the American people, and particularly tell the War Room audience, what exactly is going on. This is far worse than the Intifada back in 2003, 2004. What is happening in Israel even as we speak? Under a phony pretext uh, of Arabs being evicted from their homes, 40 Arabs, because they haven't paid rent for years. If there were Jews not paying rent, they would be evicted. It's a phony pretext. Uh, the, past, the, the Hamas, with Iranian-funded missiles, have sent 1,500 rockets and missiles all over Israel, attempting to murder as many Jews as they can. Uh, and, and, and Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian Authority, is helping incite this by saying the Jews want to destroy, are trying to destroy the mosque or the Temple Mount, he said, we got to get the Jews uh, out of here. They're committing genocide. We must increase the confrontation. So Mahmoud Abbas is inciting this, and that's not being reported. And another thing not being reported, for the first time in a significant way, Israeli Arab citizens are attacking Jews in the streets. They're breaking into Jewish homes, attacking and murdering Jews and harming Jews. They're burning down numerous synagogues, numerous Jewish schools. Uh, they're attacking Jews in cars. This is the worst pogrom against Jews since Berlin in the 30s, the Nazis. And uh, this is happening all over the country. It's never happened before. Israeli Arabs Hold on, hold on. Hang, hang, hang on. Hang on. Hang, hang on. You guys have been a couple of major wars in 67, 73. Mm-hmm. I got to have you tell me that again. You're saying this is the worst pogrom mm-hmm. against mm-hmm. the Jewish mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. since Hitler in the 30s in Berlin? Is that what you're telling us? We, you've had sporadic attacks here and there by Israeli uh, Arabs against Israeli Jews, but never concerted attacks at the same time, every hour, every day, all over the country, from Tel Aviv to Akko to Lod, uh, uh, Jerusalem, never had this. Jews are afraid to come out of their homes. When they see a mezuzah, which is a, a Jewish symbol on a, on a home, they try to break into those homes. Jews are taking the mezuzahs, the Jewish symbols, off their doors, uh, because they're afraid Arabs will come and, and break into those homes. We've never seen anything like this uh, in the history of, uh, of Israel since 48, and never seen anything like this since Berlin in the late 30s, and the media is not reporting this. And they're not reporting that Abbas is inciting this, saying get rid of the Jews, get rid of the settlers. They're trying to destroy the mosque. Uh, uh, this is simply not being reported. And by the way, of the 1,500 rockets they've launched, 30% of them have misfired and land in Gaza and have killed Arabs. It is Hamas rockets that have killed Arabs as we speak, but that's also uh, not being reported. Mort, we're gonna have you back on to go in more detail, but for right now, mm-hmm. what can this audience do to, one, get more information? What can they do to support your organization? And what can this audience, which is so powerful, what can they do to assist and help uh, our allies in Israel and the Jewish people right now? <laughs> Well, they can, get, they can learn more by going on our website, zoa.org. Follow me on Twitter, at Morton A. Klein 7. And they should be in, in touch with their members of Congress and their senators uh, and, and tell them to be supporting Israel against the Hamas and Abbas 
and Israeli Arab terrorists. And shockingly, we have Senators Warren and Sanders condemning Israel, Senators Kuhn, Murphy von Holland condemning Israel. We have Congressman Nadler condemning Israel, uh, and not to mention Omar Tlaib and AOC. Go to your congressman, go to your senators, write a two-sentence letter to them, tell them support Israel against the Hamas terrorists who are trying to murder Jews simply before they're Jews. This is the, the reason Hamas is doing this. They want the street to be supporting Hamas over Fatah. They're struggling for that support, and they're trying to harm support for Israel throughout the world. Last question. We've got about a minute and a half less. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, when, how long do you think uh, before this escalates? It's escalating as we speak. <laughs> Every day it's getting worse. It's not getting less. It's getting worse. And as I said, now you have Israeli Arabs joining in, Israeli Arab citizens attacking their fellow citizens. It's getting worse and worse. <laughs> and Israel is afraid to go all out and really crush Hamas because the world is condemning them. Uh, the world is saying that Israel is using disproportionate force. When you're in a war, you use all the force you can to punish who is attacking you so they'll stop. So this is not stopping anytime soon. We have to support Israel's obligation to hit Hamas and the, and the uh, 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 Arab terrorists as hard as they can to, to punish them and, send, and give, send them a lesson. Don't you dare attack innocent Jews or you're going to suffer enormously. But the world is telling Israel to stop the response. We have to be supporting Israel fighting these Hamas, Arab, Fatah terrorists. Mort Klein, <laughs> thank you very much. A real patriot, uh, another hero. Thank you so much for joining us today. Zion, uh, Zionist Organization of America. We'll get the website up. I want everybody to go there and make sure you get the real information. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> the world's spinning out of control. That's obvious. And this is not, this is because of many of these situations, because of actions of the people in charge, the people in power, okay? We're a hundred and some days into this. This is spinning out of control. And it's, the, the out of control is accelerating at an accelerating rate. We're going to discuss all that this evening at five o'clock. Make sure you join us back in the war room. To the end, just watch and see. It's all started, everything's begun, and you are over. Cause we're taking down the CCP.